Hey guys, how we doing? <clears throat> Sorry for the lack of videos. Uh, now we're getting into my time of the year where I have to get ready for winter coming. Not really fixing anything uh, worthwhile. And uh, everything's getting put away. And so, unfortunately, there won't be a lot of videos coming from me till, uh, till next season. So... Oh, there might be a snow, snow one here and there. Who knows? Plowing and whatever. We'll see. But anyway, I kind of been playing around with this. Now, last time anybody seen this it was quite a few years ago, and uh, didn't look like this though. Uh, I've been redoing this for or trying to for the last few years, and uh, it used to be yellow and black. I stripped all the paint off everything and and uh, my theme of course is doing the Alice Chalmers thing this sticker was really old and didn't really lay right and then a lot of the paper backing stuck to it and I tried cleaning it off and rubbed a lot of black off might might be able to get that with a sharpie or something I don't know but then I got two Alice Chalmers stickers I'll go on both sides of the tube. And uh, for right now, I just kind of wanted to get it into a roller. And uh, that's what I did. These, when I first got it, didn't have these handlebars on it. These came up <coughs> off a snowblower. And uh, I put them on here, so they're kind of like ape hanger like. It's, and uh, the foot pegs. Used to be mounted here. I welded this bar in there and welded some nuts in the end so these would screw in. Kind of like highway pegs so it's more like adult friendly. Um, used to have a Briggs and Stratton 5 horse on it with the, you know, the kind with the carburetor on top of the tank. And that one got pretty tired so. I was looking at putting this Honda in, which I really want to do because we could probably rev the heck out of it, you know, and I think it'll do good. It's a GX140. I think it's, I don't know, between a four and five horse. I think it's a five. I think the max horsepower on this is five horsepower. Um, but the problem with it is a couple issues. One being is a quarter inch, a three quarter inch shaft, and all my clutches are uh, for a smaller size shaft like this one here, and this motor. This is another motor that's an uh, option, and it's a uh, five horse to come see. And I think what's unique about it is this chain driven starter. You just, there's no switch on and off, nothing. It's just plug it in and she's off to the races. And there's a, the smallest chain you ever seen in there it drives this gear and uh, starts the engine. It's pretty cool. Of course, whatever engine I do use is going to get painted up, you know, looking nice for the mini bike. And uh, the throttle would be easy to hook up here and then hook it right to here. That way I get to use the uh, governor still. And then I'd have to make a cover to cover up the kind of ugliness here and extend it out so I could put a return spring for the throttle. If I use this one, I don't know. I'm not sure. And the gas tank's going to be a problem because it's too high. So either way, gas tank's going to be a problem even with this one. Uh, I'd have to figure something out for a gas tank. I wish it had the one that mounted here, but this was in a snowblower. It didn't have that. It had a different type fuel tank in it. And I have an Acorn style air filter that fits on here. From a really old Honda. So. 
So I don't know. Let me know what you think about these engines. I, I could have somebody order me up a different clutch as soon as I find out the size chain that it has, you know, what number chain uh, and all that. So, yeah, I think it's looking pretty good, though, I think. And then there's this one. Most of you guys have seen this one when I got it earlier this spring. It had a three or three and a half horse Briggs in it, which was the wrong motor. This is the original engine in it, which is a two cycle. It's got an electric starter built into it right there, which is kind of cool. Um, I did get the motor running, you know, just with spraying t stuff down the carburetor it will it does run and it has the built-in transmission over here however the guy when he had the the Briggs on it he welded this on here and which is a really big sprocket and so I got to figure out the chain deal here and of course, once I get it all figured out, then I'll have to blow it apart, repaint it. The gas tank, he had reconfigured everything under here. He had cut the gas tank so he could leave the cap in there. So he cut the gas tank apart. So, not, and he had this removed from somewhere on the bike. And he had that under there with the battery in it. So, um, I don't know, there's a lot of configuring to do with this one yet, but it's, it's neat because it's got working, everything works on it, lights, blinkers, uh, horn, gauges, all work, um, it's kind of a neat little bike, so, anyway, that's as far as I got with that one. <laughs> The flies are just biting me up out here. It's craziness. Ugh. Anyway. So, that's that. Again, sorry for the lack of videos that have been happening. And it's going to happen over the winter here. So, But it's that way every year. So, alright guys. Let me know what you think about this one and the, the engines. Now I can also wait to see what I come across with engines. So I could go to Harbor Freight and pick up a, a Predator engine too. And which would already have the gas tank on it. But there again, I'd still have to order a clutch. So, and it would really wouldn't be a big deal once I, because I'm not sure what number of chain it is. It's this one right here. It's almost like a bike chain. It's kind of what it looks like, but it's probably not. It's probably different, but anyway. So, all right, guys, with that, I'll talk to you later. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.